In this video, we're going to take a look at a couple different ways that we can get the current date or the current time into Excel. So the first method we're going to take a look at is using a keyboard shortcut. Now this method is going to be static. So once we enter it with the keyboard shortcut, it's going to keep that value until we use the keyboard shortcut again. So to enter today's date, we can use control and semicolon, and that'll enter today's date into the cell and control shift semicolon is going to get us the current time. Now we can also use those while in edit mode in a formula. So control and semicolon is going to get us today's date as a hard coded value in a formula. And the same thing with the time. Control shift and semicolon gets us the current time. Now with these keyboard shortcuts, we get a date and time formatting automatically applied. But if for some reason your dates actually look like this, a number or a decimal value, this is Excel's way of storing dates and times. It actually uses a serial number and decimal values for times and then just applies formatting to make it look like a date or time that we know. So we can apply our own formatting. Up in the Home tab, we have date formatting, and we also have time formatting. The next method we're going to take a look at is using Excel functions. So there is two functions that allows us to get the current date and one for the current time. So the first function we're going to take a look at is the today function. And the today function has no arguments. So we just have an empty set of parentheses for this function. And if we press enter, it's going to give us today's date. And we also have another function, the now function. And this also has no arguments and it gives us the current date and time. Now these functions are dynamic, so as the date or time changes, you can update these functions if you hit F9 on your keyboard, then they're gonna recalculate and give us the current date and time. The next method we're gonna take a look at is using Power Query to get the current date and time. So here I've got a table of data, whatever it is, and I just want to add the current date as a column and the current time. We can use Power Query for that. So I'm going to select my data table, go up to the data tab and use a table range query. And then we're going to add a column. We're going to add a custom column. And this is going to be our date time. So Power Query has a function called datetime.localnow. And this is going to return the current date and time in our time zone. And again, this function has no arguments, just two empty parentheses will do. Let's add that in. And now if we want to get the date or the time from this, we can, let's just select our date time column and go up to the add column tab. And under dates, we have date only. That's going to get us just the date. Let's select our date time again. And we also have under time, time only. And we have the time now. Let's go up to the home tab and close and load this into a table in Excel. So let's create a table right here. Here you can see we have Excel's serial numbers and that's just because I didn't format that data as a date time in Power Query. But here our date and time were from formatted as dates and times respectively. 
And this is dynamic, so if we right click on our table, we can refresh it. And we'll get the new updated current time or date. Now we can also use Power Pivot to get the current date and time. So with my data selected, I'm going to go up to the Power Pivot tab and I'm going to add this data to the data model. And with Power Pivot, we can create either a calculated column with the current date and time, or we can create measures with the current date and time. So I'm going to add a calculated column first. So let's double click on Add Column to name our column. And then click anywhere in the column. And we're going to use the formula today. So this is the exact same function as in Excel and has no arguments. Let's press enter. And we get the current date. Now let's go up to the home tab and format this as a date. And let's also select a date specific format. And let's double click and add another column for our time. And again, this is the same formula as in Excel. So that there is a now function. Let's press enter. And we get the current time. Again, let's go up to the Home tab, format it as a date, and this time let's pick a date format or a time format. All right, let's close our Power Pivot editor, and then we can create a pivot table with this new columns. So let's somewhere in our Excel, go to the Insert tab, and create a pivot table. We're going to use this workbook's data model. And let's just put it right here. And we can see those new columns that we created in our list of available fields in our pivot table fields window. So we can add those into our pivot table and maybe let's put them in the rows area. And here they are in our pivot table. Now we can also create measures that are going to, uh, that we can use in our values area of our pivot table with Power Pivot. So let's go back to our Power Pivot tab and let's add a measure. So let's add a new measure. Let's call this one date. And we're going to use the exact same functions. So the today function here, we're going to format it as a date. And let's select this format. Let's press OK. And here's our new measure that has today's date. It's in our values area and appears right here. Let's add another measure for the current time. Let's call this one time and use our now function. And this time let's keep our date and time. And let's give this a time specific format. I'll press OK. And here's our new time measure, and there's our current time in our pivot table. Again, this is dynamic, so if we right click and refresh, then we're going to get our current time updated. The next method we're going to take a look at is using Power Automate to get the current date and time into Excel. So I've got a table set up here, and I'm going to head over to flow.microsoft.com 
and I'm going to create a new automation. And in this example, I'm just going to create an instant flow. So one that I trigger myself manually, but you could have this automatically triggered based on a variety of different events. So let's select our instant flow and we're just going to use this button to trigger it. Let's create our flow. And I'm just going to name this and we're going to add an action. So we're going to update our Excel table. We're going to use Excel online for business. And there's an action to update a row. Let's select that. Now we just have to navigate to our Excel sheet. Mine's in OneDrive. And then we just need to select our table. And once we select our table, the columns in those tables will become available. Now, when we are using the update a row action for Excel, we do need to have a unique identifier column. So I've got one set up here. I've got an ID column with unique items in it. And then we can update rows based on that ID. So I can tell Power Automate to update row with ID three. And then I can update the date here. Let's go back to Power Automate. So I need to select my key column, which is my ID column in that table. And let's just hard code this in here. So let's say I want to update row three. And then for the date, I'm going to use an expression in Power Automate to get the current date and time. So let's go over here and add an expression. Now Power Automate has some functions available and one of them is UTC now. And that's going to give us the current date and time, but in UTC. So what we're going to do is use another function, convert from UTC. And so we're going to convert the UTC time to a specific time zone. And we actually have a list of those right here. And I want to get the time in Eastern Standard Time. So I'm just going to copy this right here and go back to flow. And I'm going to use that in my expression here. So I just need to put that in single quotes as a string. And then the next argument in the convert from UTZ function is the format we want. So if I just want to display just the time or the date, then I'm going to use my single quotes again. And I'm going to tell it that I want the format to be year, 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 month, month, and day, day. And so that's the expression that we're going to use. And here's our expression here. Let's save this and let's just test this out now. So let's test this. And first I just need to sign in and let's run this now. Let's go back to Excel. And here's our current date time. So we just need to update this to our date format so that we can see a date. 
and let's head back to Power Automate. Let's edit this and let's edit our expression. And if we just want the time, we can do a similar thing here with the format. So this expression now will format it as a time, so hours, minutes, and seconds. Now this method is static, so once Power Automate adds the date or time into Excel, it's going to remain that date or time until you update it again with Power Automate. So there we go. There's five different ways that we can add the current date or time into Excel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.